Good evening from the Crafty Nana. Um, I'm carrying on with the project um, of fixing our mask. I've been slowly filling in the hole until it's smoothed and there are no gaps, no cracks. Um, now I'm going to try and mould the leaves um, and then once that's done it'll be ready for touching up the paintwork. Um, I was quite lucky um, I was in RNF Mao and there's a new Daiso in there um, and I popped in and I managed to find gold glitter glue because um, obviously on this mask there are lots of swirls of gold glitter glue um, and it's sort of gone out of fashion a little bit you see less of this stuff um, so when I want to um, fix these pieces here where I've had to fill the cracks in behind I needed some more glitter glue to go over it so I was quite pleased in Daiso to find good glitter glue so my first job is to recreate these uh, little sort of feathery leaves um, I'm going to use uh, my little stash here of paper clay because it's nice and smooth um, and it should mould quite nicely into the shapes that we need. So I'm going to work it a little bit to get it the shapes we want. Now what I think I'm going to need to do is um, I'm going to need to smooth these once I get them on because I don't want um, cracks because obviously this was originally made by pushing clay into a mould so it didn't have or even pouring plaster into a mould so it wouldn't have had the sort of cracks and distress that you get using this kind of clay. I don't think this is going to look exactly the same as it did before. Then you know it's like the Japanese when they mend their pots and they use gold and they believe that something that's been broken, that's been mended with love, is actually more valuable um, after it's been mended. So we're just going to mend this with some care and some love. And hopefully, when we've done it, it will be more special than it was before. Somebody loved it enough to get it fixed and somebody cared enough to put the effort into fixing it. In a positive way. Oh. That's not very helpful, Cat. But that's really not helpful. Sorry, I've been invaded. I've been a cat invasion. Where are you going to go now? Where are you going? I'm just taking my brush, a little bit of water, just cleaning up some of the um, clay that's on the colour. Because obviously, the most of the original, the more of the original colour I can keep, the better. Because these colours may be fairly difficult to match up, so I want to keep as much of the original as I can. So I'm just cleaning up the uh, this paper clay that I've got where we don't need it. We need to keep his little bill looking nice as well. This little black swan's bill. Need to get into these curves and swirls. Try and get the bits off where we don't need it. Now, one of the most difficult parts about touching this up is going to be that it's actually quite metallic. Matching the original colours is going to be fairly difficult, so I want to have to paint as little as possible if I can, just because it's going to be tricky to get that same lustre effect. Riches a bit here. Right. Let's 
good. And it's got one little chip here that hasn't uh, been filled. So I'm going to take a little bit of clay and rub it deep into that crack there. And fill it up. See, that's looking, looking cleaner and uh, not nearly so damaged now. So next uh, step is going to be trying to um, touch up some of this without leaving it looking too obviously mended. So I might just... Right, so I put it on and I'm just sort of taking it off but I'm hoping that I leave enough of it behind to cover over the cracks without being obvious. So let's just take it off put it on and hopefully voila the crack across her nose has delightfully disappeared so we're going to take a little bit more of that lavender that I mixed up and we're just going to put it onto these ones here take it over the first edges of the petals like this then we're going to mix up a little bit of blue just add that blue into here so this looks pretty good these are like oil pastels but these are like metallic metallic oil pastels um, and I'm just feeling that I might be able to um, use the waxiness of these just to get over the top of the clay where it's made it cloudy and just keep that metallic feel to it. I don't know if it's going to work or not but we can try. You see how these are starting to get blended in with the background. And I have got some copper that I'm going to bring in as well as I go. Uh, and try and blend it even more. Um, obviously, I don't know exactly what the colours were at this point because they're not there. But we can guess it's going to be a mixture of these colours and basically we're going to make it as close as we can to what we think it should be. Okay, so this is a rub and buff. It's called Autumn Gold, but actually it's actually more copper than gold which of course is exactly the colour we need. So hopefully this is going to help us finish up our other parts that need fixing. Now we do need some plain brown though, so I'm going to take a little bit of brown first and see if I can't get these Now, as you can see, that's brought the copper up quite nicely. Take a little bit more of that just around her head because she's obviously been quite bright copper coming up onto the purple. Then I notice it turns a little bit golden in some of the parts. So again, I'm going to take some of the gold wax. some of the gold wax onto here. So we're just piping the gold glitter glue onto the old glitter just to freshen it up, cover up any parts that were damaged during its fall, bring it back to its original glamour. So she's looking very good. Now I'm thinking Obviously this is the area I've completely replaced. Nothing to say that there wasn't swirls on this side as well and it would help to blend those feathers that I've had to make in to, so they don't look so obviously mended. 
so I might well put some sparkle on this side as well. So I'm hoping that this will disguise a lot of the work we've had to do. Um, I shall now go and raid my um, jewel box and see if I can find some small blue and red gems. That's that look. I need this to dry. I need to see it in daylight. Shut my brushes. I'll take a photograph of her like this. We do live in a very throwaway society these days. Um, and it's really nice occasionally to mend something to create something new out of old things that are discarded. Um, we're better in Asia here than we are in Europe. There are more little guys on street corners that can stitch your shoes. There are more people with sewing machines doing alteration works. There are more people fixing electronics. It's much more expensive to get things fixed in Europe. Um, but it shouldn't be underestimated it really is satisfying to take something that's broken and to mend it um, even make it better than it was before or to change it and make it into something different but just as interesting um, so next time something gets broken maybe you could have a go at fixing it that's all from me the crafty nana tonight i hope you found this video interesting and um, i'll catch you next time Bye!